For this week's Black on Campus, I was able to follow one of the most influential figures here in athletics at CSU Bakersfield. His name is Brendan Ziegler, and he's the university's first ever director of sport performance. Now, Ziegler in the weight room is in charge of getting athletes ready for competition, but it's his own personal story that's inspirational. Good morning. Good morning. Throw the hands, throw the hands. Beautiful, good, that's it. Well before his athletic training days at CSU Bakersfield, Brendan Ziegler knew exactly what he wanted to do in life. My freshman year to high school, I went to football camp at University of Wisconsin and saw the strength coach give a demonstration on a power clean. And I saw immediately that's exactly what I wanted to do. The passion for his work has taken Ziegler from the weight room to the White House for his accomplishments. But in 2013, the strong kid from Wisconsin didn't seem like himself. And here is my husband, and he doesn't want to eat. He's withering away. He was 263 pounds before, and he went down to about 225. Around the time his son Brock was born, Ziegler also dealt with his father's death and symptoms that caused worry. I just started having a weak cough and couldn't catch my breath as easily as I could. And so I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, eh, it's something, let's monitor. And for months after, the symptoms only worsened. I would say it wasn't until end of May, early June, I said, that's it. Every, all these symptoms have persisted. I go, I am going with you to the doctor. There's something seriously ill. You're seriously ill. And finally, I got to the point where I'm, I'm running the, the teams out at the, the soccer field, and I couldn't even shout out the numbers of times that they were supposed to make. And so um, I kept saying to my doctor, like, something's wrong. Something's not right. This golf ball-sized mass in my neck shouldn't be there. And uh, he sent me to a pulmonologist because he thought I had asthma. And so the pulmonologist took one look at me, and he's like, you don't have asthma. He's like, you have lymphoma. He's like, you have all the symptoms. And he's like, I'm going to send you uh, to thoracic surgeon to get a cutout immediately. We're getting a biopsy. And sure enough, it was... It was uh, lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma. With the diagnosis of cancer, treatment for Ziegler started immediately. I started going to his treatments with him. Um, I think he began in August of that year. And this is now 2014, uh, August of 2014. And I started watching him and he goes, you know what, this is my chance of just finally getting a chance to rest. I mean, again, he's still working with 17 teams, teaching a class. He took those hours of chemo, and it was his rest time. But for Ziegler, news of cancer was what he needed. It's sad to hear that you have cancer, but at the same time, when you know exactly what you have after a, such a long period of not knowing, you have a game plan. And with that type of mentality, paired with dedication to his work, Ziegler did not miss one day he was here at work every single day, and you wouldn't have been able to tell that anything was wrong in the slightest. He showed up, he worked so hard, and always had a really positive, positive, positive impact on us each and every day. You never would have known Brennan was on chemo. He never lost hair. He actually gained all of his weight back. He gained his strength back. He lifted every day. And I, I really believe he is somebody that when you talk about the power of the mind, he was the power of the mind. Yeah. And that strong and tough kid from Wisconsin continues to do what he loves, make everyone he works with better. Really, we want that championship. We want those rings. Those are great things. But we also want these people to walk out of here as better people, better men and women. So that, that's important to us as well. Now, it's quite evident that no matter what's in Ziegler's path from this point forward, He's going to use his passions to make better people on and off the playing field. Reporting for the WAC Digital Network, Juan Rodriguez.